We're standing out in a fairly vigorous vineyard here in the Rutherford area. And the most interesting aspect of this particular vineyard, as well a lot of the vineyards in Napa Valley or Sonoma County at this point in time, or actually in all of California, agriculture is booming ahead, is the fact that uh, three short years ago, we were experiencing this in this particular week a very unusual phenomena of cold and wet, rainy weather. And quite honestly, we didn't even have bloom for most of the vineyards in the North Coast at this point because of our weather patterns in 2011 were such that the vines were delayed in growth, we had short growth, and once they started to try to bloom in the first week of June, uh, the cold, nasty, windy, rainy weather that constantly happened hammered us for five or seven days, knocked a lot of our flowers off before they even had a chance to bloom. And it was so cold that fertilization or pollinization could not happen under the flower caps. So just in contrast, uh, here we are three years forward from that time in the same week, and you can see that we've got pretty good sized berry set, we've got a lot of growth, you know, the vines are doing very well, and of course we're anticipating a probably earlier than normal harvest at this point in time, even though it's got a little cloud or fog cover this morning. Weather is weather, and we have, as farmers, have to work with it, we have to deal with it, we have to be ready at all, all times for the unknown. And uh, you can't just go on the calendar and say, okay, the first week of June every year is going to be bloom, or the first week of... August, you're going to start picking your champagne varieties, your sparkling wine varieties, or your Sauvignon Blancs that might be ready. It all depends on the weather. So long term is that we pre-planned some of our destiny, if you will. We watered, and then of course we got the rain, so I guess it's a win-win situation. And uh, so now it's all about canopy management. It's about where we are in this uh, particular time frame. Uh, crews are pretty much busy, finished up with the second pass of suckering where we need to do a second pass of suckering and that's removing the ex extra unwanted shoots that are emerging. These little guys here, maybe leaving one or two for uh, replacements, but removing that. But also coming through and removing extra leaves and laterals around the fruit zone to uh, to make sure that we got a good uh, airflow, spray flow, and everything we need to do in this uh, last bit of time. So that's what we're doing in a lot of our vineyards. And we're going to go to a vineyard today also where I've got the leafing machine that's going through and removing the leaves uh, physically with a tractor and the laterals. And we're going to check on that and see how that operation is doing for comparison. A lateral is something such as this that we would remove right above the fruit zone. For example, this one right here would come out and just uh, take it off and the leaves right up above around the fruit. So we can get some dappled sunlight. We still have all of this canopy above us for sunburn protection or on those hot days, but yet we can get some dappled sunlight that comes into the around the fruit clusters themselves. When we get into closer to harvest, we don't want the second crop removing the carbohydrates and making sugar and, and taking away and diffusing our ultimate goal of getting this fruit, the primary crop, ripe. So we're gonna go through and remove even second crop if we don't remove the laterals. Uh, it's very important. So uh, that's part of our daily operations right now.